everyone, this is Becky with Feathered Nest, and today I'm going to show you how I organize my master bathroom. We're going to start right here in the linen closet, where I store, store um, obviously, linens and some other supplies. I'm going to break this down for you a little bit here. I divide each shelf, and I again, I label everything in my home if you haven't seen my other uh, videos. So each shelf, shelf has a label. Um, I like to buy things in bulk or in large quantities, so... Um, I have these containers here, for instance, with extra razors, deodorant, Germex, um, on, in these tubs here. And this is called my, uh, bulk and single items. And then I typically buy a large container of, um, items like this, soap, uh, your hand soap refills, things like that. And so I don't need a whole tub or drawer to store them in. And I store them on these, uh, little Lazy Susans. And I do the same over here on this side. And then below, I have my first aid and medications. So that's all of these bins here. And I do the same thing. Whenever I need to uh, find out how to store or um, group things, I go to the store and uh, look for ideas there. I do that with grocery departments, department stores, everything. Um, these would be where I have gone to um, the pharmacy and actually got my... Um, Groupings uh, according to how they group. Um, pain fever reducers. Skin have two of those because have lots of that. Two empty uh, bins, room to grow. Eyes and nose. This would be things like your um, visine and nose drops, things like that. Bandages. <clears throat> now these aren't like band-aids. These are um, more like the little wraps and things that you can buy so, like this. Um, you know, to wrap around a wrist. There's wrist braces, things like that in there. And then um, regular, excuse me, regular Band-Aids right here below. And then stomach, uh, such as like Pepto-Bismol, things like that. Cold allergy, have two of those. Then coming below, uh, down below that, I have uh, a shelf where I call my bath linens. And that's what these are, obviously. Bath towels, hand towels, and washcloths. And um, I do the same thing. Look in a linen department, in a store in linen departments. I um, look at how they fold towels and washcloths and how they display them, and then I do the same thing uh, so that it's pleasing to the eye and, and, um, and look nice and neat. And then um, down below that, I have um, my multiples and um, bath supplies, so lots of shampoo, conditioner, cotton balls, and Q-tips, hairspray, um, I you know buy several bottles of that. Um, shaving cream and so on. All of it has, you know, multiples. Mouthwash. I keep oodles of toothbrushes handy. Um, buy, you know, many of those so that um, when I have a guest that has forgotten theirs or um, the kids have someone stay over and they need a toothbrush, I've got plenty. And then toothpaste. And then down below that is what I call our soaks um, shelf. Here we go. Come on down. Okay, soaks shelf. And that's where I keep all the supplies like the oatmeal. Um, baths and the um, uh, Epsom salts and things like that, not only for tubs, but also for like soaking feet. Um, and that's what this tub is for. And then below that, I have uh, a couple of drawer bins right here. And this is where I store my multiples of bath shell, uh, gel. And then below that um, is miscellaneous, uh, like a heating pad. These are extra. Um, um, hand wipes, and that's just a princess cape from my daughter that used to go in the sick cart. And then these are little, like, pencil boxes filled with all of our travel items, um, toothpaste, mouth care, bath soap, um, uh, conditioner, hair, shampoo, things like that. Um, for those of you who know me, I do not like to stack or nest, um, but I could not, I still have not found, um, little, uh, uh, drawers or bins that will fit in there, so... You know, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Okay. Then coming around over here to the other side, the vanity area. This has a drop-down section for makeup. I do not use it for that, just so you know. Um, and I will show you why here um, and how I have it set up. <clears throat> over here, now I do every once in a while sit here. My makeup is actually right here next to me, so I can use it in, in this area. But... Um, I do not have a lot of makeup. I'm not a makeup or hair type product person. Um, so I keep my uh, jewelry storage here. This is a store-bought drawer divider. 
This is a, a, an egg crate from buying like two dozen eggs or something like that, or five dozen, whatever. Um, and there, I, all I did was cut it to size. It goes all the way back here. And this is just where I store each little um, compartment has one pair of earrings in it. And then I cut another little section of the egg crate and place it inside the store-bought one for my rings, um, my charm bracelet, beaded necklaces, big, chunky, bulky necklaces, watches, bracelets. And this is a purse-sized jewelry cleaner, um, pieces that need repair. And then this is just a um, very extra large ring that does not fit in that container. So that's all that is. And this is my most used jewelry. I have another place for my not-so-worn jewelry. Um, typically what I do is get ready right here in the morning and I set it up to uh, kind of like my kitchen, if you have seen that, to where I can, well, let's go ahead. Um, open these drawers here, stand right here in the middle. This is not a drawer. And I can get ready from this spot right here, reaching into both of these bins. I do not have to put a single item on my countertop when I get ready in the mornings. Um, this is kind of an extension of a countertop, and I can just stand right here, take something out, put it right back in. And uh, this one is divided, and like I said, I, I label everything. This is the dental care drawer where I keep floss, um, a pair of scissors because I open the little container and clip it to size here. And um, then this is kind of a little miscellaneous um, bathroom type items, but um, obviously toothbrush, toothpaste, um, floss picks. And don't freak out, but this is my dog Sophie's toothbrush um, because she kind of um, does donuts and goes in circles. When I brush my teeth, she thinks she has to brush hers too. So I put a little of her paste on her toothbrush and let her chew on that for a little while so I can um, brush my teeth in peace or she will drive me absolutely nuts. So yes, that's freaky and weird, but we're going to move on. Okay, then over here is the makeup and um, hair drawer. It's sectioned off. This is makeup. This is hair. <clears throat> and um, I kind of have it divided into the order I put it on. These are my flat pieces of um, makeup. And uh, they're right here. Face powder, um, blush, eyeshadow. And then the tube style type makeups right here. Mascara, lip balm, or lip color, gloss, whatever. Um, and then over here is a little space, a dead space. So I used it to put some... Um, not very used items. I have a hair clip, a couple makeup brushes right here. My deodorant I do use. Um, <clears throat> and then starting over here with the hair section, um, hairspray and brush. Yes, I have to make sure they match. Um, and if I can't get a hairspray that doesn't match my brush, got to get a new brush. So, um, And then I have a couple combs, um, lots of the hair ties. Uh, so, you know, I kind of go through those through water. So I have two bins of those. Hair clips right here. Then my curling iron and my hair blowing dry brush right here. So, um, I, like I said, I can stand right here, be completely ready. Um, I will, you know, brush my hair, spray it, put it right back here. Nothing goes on the counter. And uh, I don't have any cleanup to do. I take it out and I put it right back. Okay, going below um, is uh, I believe that every bathroom obviously has to have a trash can. I prefer them at each counter. And uh, that's what this is, a trash can. And then right here is a personal bin at, um, for just me. Um, and, and it has my nail care, my pedicure stuff, and then my jewelry cleaner. Some of my jewelry requires a special cleaner, so I keep it in here. And then I also have, this is a nail remover and does not fit in this drawer, so I keep it right on top. Over here are some good towels, but no longer are color steam scheme so I keep them right here for kind of just in case and then um, right over here is a fishing tackle box and that's where I organize my jewelry that I don't wear anymore but um, it is either good jewelry or sentimental jewelry and um, I organize it the same way if you've ever seen a tackle box it opens up and has tiered sections and uh, I do the same thing organize it into bracelets necklaces rings etc this is a um, uh, uh, box of hot hot rollers and um, I don't use those that often so it's tucked back there this side is my grandkids section they um, bathe in uh, the tub that's in our room right here and <clears throat> so it's right next to the cabinet right here I can be sitting here watching them I can reach their toys their towels and cloths right here 
And uh, then, let me, oh, turn it. Go quickly here for you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my husband's drawers. Um, he's not as organized as I am, but when I do organize something, um, I have to say he's pretty good about keeping it up um, well. Um, this is his uh, hair and uh, pockets, and what I mean by that is he empties stuff from his pockets into here, such as his pocket change, um, some keys, things like that. So here's his hair section, his uh, shaving section, sorry about that, and then odd, odd miscellaneous, you know, he's got a pocket knife, things like that uh, in here. He keeps receipts and some coupons and, and a nail brush, so these are all kind of tucked into the spare spaces here. And then over here on the other side is his dental care drawer and holds all his dental care items. You have a, a small TV here on, in, in the wall um, in here, so that's just the remote to that. And then below is, um, he's, he's the one who maintains and manages my daughter's diabetes. And um, so uh, her, some of her uh, items and supplies are down here for him to monitor. And then again, extra um, towels that are not in our color scheme and a trash can. And then coming over here, this is uh, our master closet, a towel rack and the toilet area. And then this is just nothing exciting and really not a whole lot to organize in a shower um, because I'm not a uh, uh, product type person, but we do keep our um, conditioner and our shampoo and I prefer the pumps. Uh, so that I can pump that out and use that and then this is kind of dark back here, but um, and easy to reach but um, Just the uh, uh, what do you call it bath gel and it's also a in a pump form and it sits directly behind here I know it's hard to see and um, you know, we just pump that uh, onto it. So um, that's it really and um, then you know, we step right outside here to um, grab our towels, which I do not have hanging here at the moment and um, I believe that is it on the bathroom master bathroom area so um, I hope that um, inspires you to organize your bathroom um, your master bathroom so that it works more efficiently um, like I said I don't have and keep items on my countertops um, I do keep a decorative style count, uh, cotton balls hand soap a hand towel this is a jewelry cleaner, um, just my everyday jewelry cleaner, and it is a decorative um, style, uh, what do you call it, bronze uh, uh, container, and then a candle and lamp. And that is all I keep. My husband's kind of just decorative items, also soap and a, a candlestick. So um, I don't keep products and, and makeup and everything all over the counter. So. Um, everything works efficiently and I don't have a cluttered mess every day, nothing to clean up. So um, have a blessed day and have fun organizing your master bathroom. Bye now.